Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to crochet around a brim of a beanie. So when you're working from the bottom up, you crochet the brim first, and then you join the brim, and then you work along the edges of the brim, and then you work your body up. So when you're working on an edge like this, if you're working on the edge of your work, it's a little difficult to see where you're supposed to insert your hook. So in my patterns, I call these setup rounds. So it sets up your body for whatever pattern you're making. And I thought I had a video for the half double crochet brims because I just posted um, a slip stitch brim, how you work around it if you're using slip stitches. So I'll leave a link for that. This one is a half double crochet brim, meaning I used half double crochet stitches to make the brim. Okay, so I switched to a, a different color so that you can see better. So depending on the pattern you're working on, most of the time you start with chain one and then into that same stitch, which I just work one single crochet so insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through. So here's one row, and because I worked through back loops, the other row is right here. So that's one, two, three, four. So those are the rows that I worked for my brim. So the rule of thumb for me is to work three stitches for every two rows. So the first one is going to be inserted through these stitches here. You can clearly see these stitches and it's got a V for each of those stitches. So you find your last one, so your top stitch up here. I had five stitches in my brim. So here's one, two, three, four. And this little one that's kind of slanting that way is my fifth one. So I'm going to insert my hook right into that space right there, okay? So for the second stitch, I'm going to go in to the space that's directly left of this first one that we're going to go into, and you'll see that in a minute. And then into the third one, I like to go into these two loops. Okay, it's right here in the middle of these two. And then you start all over again. One in here, two, three. One, two, three. So let's start working around the brim. So the first one, as I said, is up on this ridge here. My top stitch is right on the top right there. Yarn over pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two. So you can actually see that it looks like it's an extension of these stitches. Okay, so right to the left of that, you want to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So right here between these two, remember the top loops and you wanna make sure you work into two loops, not just one. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Now you can see there's this huge gap here. So we're starting all over. Those are the one, two, three stitches. And then look at these stitches here. Okay, these stitches. You want to insert into the very top stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, next stitch. And then right here, you want to work through two loops. Okay, and then we start all over again. One, two, three. 
one, two, three. Again, this is just how I like to work my stitches and this is how I write my patterns. So if you have to increase for the stitch pattern that you're working on, just go ahead and increase by in working multiple single crochets into um, these stitches evenly. So if you had to increase four, I would work one, two, three, four increases. So I've come around to the end of the round and I'm just going to work a slip stitch to join. Okay, so that's how you work the setup round for a bottom up beanie where you work half double crochet brims. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button so you can be notified every time I post a video. I'll see you next time.